Well, it's Sunday morning, uh, 11.39 a.m., and friggin' 7 degrees out. Supposed to get a little bit warmer out later, um, so that'll be good. It's not too bad out right now, I'm gonna stick on the AC in a little bit, uh, so that way the start shop will start cooling down. Uh, but my uncle came down last night from New Hampshire, um, he got the new tires for me, picked them up, um, Nice set, 30 bucks for each tire with the rim, so that's not too bad. So we got two sets of those. Um, this right here is for the friggin' spare tire mount thing, which is gonna go right there um, after I'm done painting it. And we got the new lights. Um, these were, I don't know. 20 something, I think they're like 24 bucks, something like that. I don't know. But uh, yeah, freaking great little kit. Um, it's even got the little license plate mount thing. So, so that'll be pretty good. Um, I was going to get them at the auto zone, but I just figured I might as well buy everything all at one place. So it'll be a lot easier. Um, so yeah, freaking, I'm thinking about actually running all new wire. Um, the wire that they gave me, I'm gonna run all new stuff because, like, some of this stuff here is actually, like, really short. So, we have to freaking rip out all the old wiring once I'm done with the paint. And I'll snake everything through the frame, like, with the, like, what they had done before. Um, my uncle worked on this trailer a while back. PJ's father worked on it. Um, the trailer had new tires put on in 2004. Um, Lights were redone in 2004. Like everything was maintained up to 2004 when PJ's dad did everything. And then they just let, but then my other uncle just let it sit in his yard. So now I got it. So, yeah, friggin' rights. So, got the new tires, new lights, new friggin' plate holder. And it was pretty much a total of 97 bucks. So it's not too bad. Um, gotta love the Harbor Freight. Great stuff in there. Save twenty six dollars and ninety nine cents. Yippee! So what the hell is that? I don't know. So yeah, we're gonna rock this out. We're gonna primer up today. Um, tomorrow, if I, it's possible. Um, I'm gonna throw the first coat of bed liner on the inside and on the fenders. Um, so that'll be pretty good. And yeah, friggin' then we chooched, I guess so. Alright, well we just got back from uh, AutoZone, I mean not AutoZone, uh, VIP. Um, AutoZone for this stuff I wanted a hundred bucks, and the place where I usually get all my paint and supply and stuff like that, VIP, they, um, it was on sale this week for eighty bucks. Um, I was gonna go with the lower grade cheaper shit. But uh, this was a pretty good deal, I guess. It was only like ten bucks more for the ten bucks uh, more than the cheaper stuff. So, um, so yeah, we're gonna just do the whole bed line with this. Uh, it's got the whole little kit, the sanding pads, all that stuff. Then I decided to change my mind a little bit. Um, we got the primer. This is for the sides because uh, this has got some other type of primer in it. And then for the sides, I'm going to go with this um, silver. Figured I'll break it up from the black a little bit. And I might as well do a little review while I'm at it. I went to Dunkin' Donuts and I got this uh, this Mountain Dew Culotta thing. A scale of 1 to 10, I give it a 3. Kind of sucks. Wouldn't, uh, wouldn't buy it. So, it's like, I don't even know really how to describe it. It kind of tastes like Mountain Dew. But it's nothing, uh, nothing too good. In Canada, they got Tim Hortons, Boston. We got friggin' uh, yeah, friggin' got Dunkin' Donuts, Boston Red Sox. Going to see the game Monday night. I'll have to videotape some of that stuff too. So yeah, friggin' gonna get a uh, priming on this thing, and we'll friggin' crack open some of the stuff. All right, well we got the first coat of friggin' uh, primer on the sides. Uh, nothing too too special on the inside. Just gave it a quick little dash. Uh, did a quick little testing of the um, that stuff right there. Um, I think it's gonna work out pretty good. 
I mean, this stuff here is just the fenders are getting done with the um, bed liner, so that's why I didn't go too crazy with the freaking rusty spots there. But the sides are all in great shape, and my do uh, the inside of that, so I'll be fine. So, yeah. So if we get the mixture all mixed up, um, freaking some goopy shit, that's for sure. Uh, I've read on the box made out of Kevlar, made with Kevlar. So we're gonna freaking dump this in the bucket, roll her on, and we'll see how well she comes out. All right, well this stuff worked out actually pretty damn nice. Uh, just get first coat. I want to do like a really rough coat, nothing too too special. Tomorrow I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna do one more coat. And I'll come back and I'll do all in there and stuff like that. Do the finishing finishes on it. Um, got the fenders done. Um, what else? We're gonna, got the back and front uh, little tailgate things done. Well, not done. I still got to do the other side, but can't do it until it dries. Um, so, yeah. This stuff went on pretty good. I only used uh, uh, not much. Probably about a quarter of it, and I also spilt some on the floor. Uh, this would be a good little test to see maybe this stuff we can use on the floor or not. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, friggin', I'm friggin' covered in the shit. Get all up on my arms and shit. So, and friggin', check that out. Oh yeah, friggin', walked right in it too. Didn't even bucket pretty much. I stepped right in the bucket and the thing tipped over because I was getting ready to shut the door because my dad left it open. Son of a bitch. But uh, yeah, anyway, do uh, one more coat tomorrow, and we'll be friggin' good to go. So right now I gotta go over PJ's house. We're gonna go friggin' have a barbecue. So yeah, friggin' uh, duplicate bed armor stuff is actually pretty damn nice. Yeah, friggin' rights. And friggin' Mountain Dew shit sucks. All right, well, friggin' talk to you guys tomorrow. Keep on shooting in the free world.